Okay, so I've been thinking about this, you know, a bit lately, and um, I think that it is really important, uh, depending on really any career that you're trying to get into, but specifically since I'm a PA, I'm talking about the healthcare career, um, that you kind of ponder these thoughts in your head and also have your own reasoning as to why or why not healthcare um, because it can be very rewarding but there are some things that you definitely need to think about because it could also be um, you know the opposite of rewarding and so in today's video I'm going to be giving you three reasons why you should not get into healthcare. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys? Sit down. Welcome back to my channel. So I just want to like preface this by saying I love my job. Okay, you guys there may be times when I don't like my job, but I love my job. I love being a provider. I love seeing like the miracles of life in terms of uh, somebody being on essentially um, their 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 last leg, I guess you can say, uh, and then uh, being brought back or or being assisted in terms of their health uh, and I like being a part of that and I like patient care okay um, so I definitely want to preface these three statements that I'm about to make with that um, but on the flip side there are days when it's hard okay and so uh, I wanted to give you some things that you should think about as a future insert your your career here okay um, whatever it may be but as a future provider um, I definitely feel like these are some things that you should be thinking about okay first and foremost if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe and join the fam okay I think that the first thing that I'm gonna address is something that I've already just stated not too long ago but my first reasoning in not choosing healthcare is that it's hard now obviously uh, there are people gonna be like oh my gosh you know like the best things in life are hard or they aren't easy and great kudos for you good for you you like to um, you know go for it and you like things hard so that shows your accomplishment uh, but that's not for everybody okay and so if you are not the one who wants to struggle to get into a career um, then this might not be for you uh, when it comes to being in healthcare, it takes a lot of schooling and a lot of dedication. And I'm not only talking about like the schooling and dedication aspect of healthcare being hard. Healthcare in and of itself, uh, being a healthcare provider, being a nurse, a PA, a physician, it's difficult. There are gonna be days when your patients don't like you and you might not like your patients. You know, like, like let's be honest about this. There are gonna be days when someone in your like healthcare scope in terms of another provider might say something off the cuff to you and you're like what what did you, I know you're not talking to me like that right there are gonna be days you are like talked down to by a patient or um, God forbid a patient attacks you where you know the medicine aspect of things just isn't really adding up and isn't making sense because of what's happening around you and you're gonna contemplate on those days like why in the world did I choose this career okay and so you understanding your why is important on those days because there are really difficult days when you are working in the hospital system and just in general as a provider and COVID has only compounded that you know with respect to burnout but hey what is your why okay if you want to have an easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy, as uh, my Mimi likes to say, uh, kind of just path and career and life, then you know what? Like this, this ain't for you. Okay, so that is that's my number one uh, thing that I guess I want to point out to you guys first and foremost. Okay, another reason why you might not want to get into healthcare is because sometimes it's all about the dollar sign. Okay, and so there. There are gonna be uh, there are gonna be situations where um, you're kind of like you're dealing with kind of shortages and you know you are the only provider and you know what uh, you're like getting stressed out and you're getting burnt out and you know there's no respite in sight right there's no help 
on the on the horizon um, because your your boss or you know your your hospital system just doesn't have the money um, to help you in that sense. Um, there are going to be days where it is literally like, hey, I you need to just get these patients in and out. And you see that a lot in the urgent care model, um, and even in emergency medicine. Like you're you're trying to kind of expedite where these patients go and how they're seen, and sometimes sometimes the patient care uh, gets lost. And if you're going into this thinking that you know you're not going to have that, like where you're looking at it and you're like, hey, you know, like. I want to feel fulfilled and um, in this particular specialty, it may be um, not just career, I don't feel fulfilled. Um, you really should be thinking about that. And when you're, when I'm saying specialty, that's more so for like the NPPA route. Um, obviously, if you chose to be a physician and you are in a particular specialty and you don't feel fulfilled anymore and you feel like just a cog in a wheel, um, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to kind of like navigate like, all right, well, what's next? What do I do next? Um, where do I go next? Because I just spent, you know, 12 years of my life coming to this point. Uh, but ultimately something that you should really think about because sometimes it is about that bottom dollar when it comes to um, the, the, the higher ups. Uh, and if that is not really something that you can deal with at times, this, this it makes it a lot more difficult and this might not be for you. And the third thing I want to address is when you make it about the money and your bottom dollar. So if you're getting into this career and you feel like I want to be a, a physician or a PA or an NP because I simply want to make a lot of money, yeah, that's not going to cut it. That is not going to keep you going. Okay. Um, there are so many things that happen in the healthcare system that will derail those plans for you in terms of like the money is going to be the one driving force behind this. Get attacked by a patient, but one and I'm pretty sure the money is not gonna be enough okay so if you're getting into healthcare solely for the money don't do it there's there honestly you guys when it comes to money there are so many other jobs out there that are paying the same or even more than healthcare providers in like the business realm in like the project management realm in some of the arts and so if you're trying to get something that's just for the money, go do something like that. Go get an MBA and go work for a company where you'll be getting paid like $200,000 or $100,000 to be like an office manager or something. You know, like there are jobs like that out there. So if it's about the money, do that. Those are options for you. So really some things that you wanna think about, things that I've been contemplating, contemplating like where do I wanna go with this career? What do I wanna do? What are the things that I want it to evolve into in terms of what I do with my life. And it's really something that you should be thinking as a future provider, uh, what is your why and maybe what is your why not, all right? Okay, so if you guys haven't already done so, like this video, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below on maybe why you think you, your, your why or your why not might be. Um, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Don PA and on Instagram at Get This University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.